After being delayed due to bad weather, NASA hopes to launch their Psyche asteroid mission Friday morning. Meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees explains how traveling 350 million miles away will help us better understand where we live. The first of its kind, NASA's Psyche mission will target the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter to explore a metallic class asteroid. It'll take approximately six years, two trips around the sun, before we see the first mission photos. This unique asteroid, believed to contain iron and nickel, could be representative of the Earth's core. One of the leading formation theories on this asteroid is that it used to be a larger planetesimal, still a, pl a small planet, but a larger planetesimal that had its mantle stripped off by a bunch of violent collisions. And that what we're looking at is the exposed core of what used to be something bigger. And if that's true, humankind has never seen a core before. Mark Brown is the flight system manager with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He told WCNC Charlotte, basically, it was my job to build the spacecraft, including the scientific instruments to sample Psyche. Brown explains this asteroid is a pristine body who hasn't undergone changes like the planets. A snapshot in time, this will allow scientists to do planetary geology comparisons. Brown even believes it could help us understand how our planet is responding to climate change. You might not think that understanding the Earth's core has anything to do with climate change, but who am I to say that, right? I mean, one thing we know is that the Earth's Magnetic field and spin axis has changed over its lifetime, and certainly that has bearing on climate. NASA will also use this mission to test new technologies, including beaming a test pattern to a sensor in Southern California. This sensor can count individually modulated photons, technology that will allow for higher bandwidth communications in the future. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees. So the next window is 1019 a.m. tomorrow with the latest forecast, only 40% chance of a go for launch. We'll talk to Brad in just a second, but WCNC Charlotte will have coverage of the launch and the mission on Weather IQ YouTube page. Just scan the QR code on your screen right now. It'll take you to that page where you can like and subscribe for more insights just like this.